The United States Air Force presently employs one of the world's most potent fighter jets. Their distinctive shape and sophisticated avionics make them very competitive in modern warfare. Therefore, these flying marvels contribute significantly to the annual global military expenditures of $2 trillion. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, we'll be looking at why the US spent billions of dollars to make the F-22 take off vertically. Yeah, you heard it right. So, let's start our video. The F-22 Raptor is a fighter jet flown by the United States Air Force. It is a fifth generation fighter jet with advanced technologies. This aircraft was conceived and built to incorporate stealth integrated avionics and excellent mobility into a single aircraft. The F-22's first production model was presented on April 9, 1997, and it entered service in 2005. The F-22 is composed of titanium and composite materials and is 62 feet in length with a wingspan of 44.5 feet. It is powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines, each of which produce 35,000 pounds of afterburner thrust. The aircraft's advanced sensor package enables the pilot to track, identify, and eliminate air-to-air -air threats before they're detected. The ailerons of the F-22 Raptor can simultaneously deflect upwards and downwards and absorb the flapper ailerons behind the wings. This unique layout greatly contributes to the superior maneuverability of the F-22. The thrust vectoring nozzles of the F-22 Raptor enable the pilot to shift the nozzle up and down by 20 degrees. Vectoring doubles the plane's rate of roll, making it far more agile than other fighter jets. Integration of thrust vectoring into the flight control system. Therefore, it operates autonomously in response to the pilot's directions. When the pilot turns the aircraft, the nozzles, along with the elevator, rudder, and aileron control surfaces move in the desired direction. Due to these thrust vectoring nozzles, the F-22 is also capable of rising vertically at speeds between Mach 1 and 2 immediately after takeoff. This is made possible by the thrust vectoring and extremely mobile flaps. The F-22 Raptor has a lower radar cross-section and significantly faster speeds than its contemporary competitors. Due to its enormous demand and capabilities, the unit cost of this aircraft might be estimated at approximately $230 million at present. The F-35B is another fifth-generation Paramount fighter jet operated by the Marine Corps. This aircraft's capacity to land vertically like a helicopter and take off from the extremely small distances is one of the most intriguing elements of its evolution. These characteristics permit operation from austere short field bases and a variety of air-capable vessels. To accomplish this, the F-35B morphs by opening events behind the cockpit containing a lift fan. The lift fan creates a lifting force in addition to the engine thrust and may rotate 90 degrees when in short takeoff or vertical landing mode, allowing the F-35B to readily take off from short distances. The wide inlet cover behind the cockpit feeds input air to the vertical landing fan when the aircraft is hovering in the air for a vertical landing. While decelerating to land speed, the pilot must balance the engine thrust and fan lift. The engine's complete exhaust system then rotates downwards into vertical flight mode, and the pilot lands the aircraft utilizing his exceptional aviation talents. In addition to its short takeoff and landing capabilities, the F-35B's combat capabilities are unparalleled. Its external pylons can each carry a Sidewinder 9X or an upgraded short-range air-to-air missile and are canted to decrease their radar cross-section. In addition, the external wing stations can carry massive air-to-surface missiles such as the AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile that do not fit within the weapons area. F-15 is an agreement between McDonnell Douglas and Boeing that produces enormous and potent weapons. Eagle heavyweight fighter jets are regarded as the best at dogfighting and are better suited for a wider variety of missions than the F-35 because of their massive weapons and vast size. Since its initial flight in July of 1972, the F-15 Eagle has proven to be one of the most combat-ready aircrafts in the world. The Eagle achieves air superiority through a combination of unmatched mobility, acceleration, range, armament, and avionics. Prior to takeoff, the F-15 Eagle crew enters the aircraft via an exterior ladder. As the cockpit shield is lowered, the pair is safely enclosed in the aircraft after donning flying attire. After that, the aircraft stabilitors are inspected and the engine nozzles are positioned for takeoff. After receiving approval from the ground crew chief, the aircraft begins taxiing to the active runway. While taxiing, each aircraft maintains a safe distance from its predecessor, and the F-15 uses its powerful dual engines to take off from over 3,000 feet onto the runway. Boeing's F-15EX, a two-seat, all-weather multi-role fighter with increased capabilities that are exclusive to the United States Air Force is an upgraded and modified version of the F-15 Eagle. Before the Air Force can deploy them, however, integrated testing and assessment procedures must be completed. This involves testing the aircraft's numerous flight systems and assessing its airworthiness. 
This combined test expedited the delivery of the F-15EX to the warfighter while ensuring the rigor of testing. The world is yet to witness what tomorrow's cutting-edge technology and visionary aviation engineers will bring to the skies, given that these dominant aircrafts are already in operation. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned!